You know how some carriers give you so little for your older busted phone you just end up living with it? I don't think so. Verizon lets you trade in your broken phone for a shiny new one. You break it, we upgrade it. You dunk it, doggy bone it. <laughs> Slam it, wham it, strawberry jam it. We upgrade it. Get a 5G phone on us with select plans. Every customer, current, new, or business. Because everyone deserves better. And with plans starting at just $35, better cost less than you think. A lot of folks think coding is hard. Well, my next guest says, not really. It's all a matter of how you reach the folks who don't know. Uh, she has created this at-home coding kit called Lingo, which allows for uh, your child to see what professionals are doing while moving at their own pace. Aisha Bose, a former NASA rocket scientist who created Lingo, uh, and she joins me now from Washington, D.C. Uh, Aisha, glad to have you back on the show. Hey, hi, Roland. So big day for you because uh, Lingo dropped, what, uh, in Target? Yeah, as of today, we launched on Target and we're available on Walmart and Amazon. So explain, so what, what really is Lingo? What, what is it, what does it do? Lingo is a self-paced coding kit that teaches kids the fundamentals of computer science at home. And as an added bonus, it features culturally relevant role models because Roland, I went through my entire education without ever being taught by a black woman once. And so that's a central focus of Lingo. We wanna expose students to computer science in a way that's not boring, not boring for a change, and to get them excited about a potential career by applying their knowledge to something they see every day. The backup noise you hear in a car. So when you talk, so we talk about uh, that, because you say, you know, as you go, so how long is it? So let, let's just say um, you get the kit and how long will a child be ready to code? And we say code, what does that even mean? What are they, what are they actually doing? So the Lingo kit includes self-paced online videos, which means that it doesn't require a parent in order for the student to complete the activity. So we hope that parents can actually maybe get some downtime, right? Go do something fun. Once the kit is open, what the students will do is learn the basics of how to put together code. This is exposure, Roland. So instead of asking you to just open the kit and magically know all of these things, we ask you to read the instructions, follow the video, videos as Danielle Regis, our product lead here at Lingo, instructs you through how to put together the exercise. In total, the activity takes about four hours and can be completed over the course of several days. And so, so we, um, again, we talk about coding. You and I were talking the other day and how you were talking to some students in St. Louis and you had them coding music. Yeah, because everything that you hear is actually um, electronics. And so what I wanted to do was find a way to tie this concept to something that the students cared about. And they cared about music. With this Lingo kit, the first lesson teaches you how to put together that sensor for a car. But that same principle you can use to code your own music. And so once we finish the first activity, and the second activity is available on our learning portal now, we actually said, hey, well, now that you know how to do this, why don't you load up your favorite song? The kids are playing everything from Megan Thee Stallion to DaBaby and BTS within a matter of three days. And they were hooked. They've now gone on and further explored the music lesson. Some of them have even loaded their own music into the boards and are looking at how they can maybe become sound engineers. All right, then. Questions for my panel. Matt, I'll start with you. So the question I have for you, Ms. Bowie, is um, what do you find is the, the greatest impediment to access? Is it that people don't know how accessible coding can actually be and doable it can be? Or is it something else? Is it other institutional factors? Well, for me, the greatest impediment was not knowing anything about the field. I started my degrees in aerospace engineering with pre-algebra in a community college. I didn't see any people who looked like me who were in the field, and I did not know that engineering was something that I could do 
make a living at and actually enjoy. And then when I went into the field, I didn't see the people around me actively recruiting people of color. And I just, I had enough. I left the government in order to create this company because I wanted people of color to have this experience. I wanted students to go into a classroom and see somebody that looked like them. I wanted for them to get a box and have other people around them who may not be persons of color see somebody who looked like them teach the class and have them realize that we exist in these fields too. And oh, by the way, the same techniques and tools that you learn in this box are the same ones that can make sure that you get paid for the rest of your life. I've seen studies that show that on average, it takes about 100 hours of exposure to coding or engineering concepts before you become an engineer. Well, guess what? There are a lot of students who are getting that in middle school. They're getting that in high school. Well, why can't our students have the same? And now with Lingo, you get that in a box. You get not only the first lesson, but you can learn music. And our third lesson ties sports and STEM together, which means now you're coding things that can help make you a better athlete or even understand how technology integrates with sports. So I got some fool on YouTube named Mississippi who said uh, black American people don't give a damn about coding. Can you explain why that's stupid to even say that, Mississippi. I, you know, I, listen, I would beg to differ. First of all, it's no surprise. First of all, the person, is, the handle is Mississippi. So, I mean, <laughs> when you look at the education ranking of Mississippi, that, that says a whole lot. But go, Aisha, go ahead. Listen, I'm going to go ahead and beg to differ because I just got done teaching a class of eighth graders out in East St. Louis, and every single one of them walked away not only doing this kit, but wanting to learn more. I don't think it's that black people don't care about coding. I think it's that the subject hasn't been taught to them in a way that was interesting. It took me until I was an adult to actually learn these things in a way that I thought was fun. And I just refuse for any more people to have that experience. So get a lingo, explore Mississippi, and I think you'll find that not only do people care, but maybe you'll care too. Lee. Look, I love this, Aisha. I love uh, the vision. I love your heart for people. I'm a pastor, and uh, y'all know in, in the Bible it says, train up a child in the way that they should go, and when they're old, they won't depart from it. Uh, one of our challenges in all of this stuff, in educating our children and training up our children, uh, isn't always the kids. Very rarely is the kids. It's the parents. How can you, like what you're doing, I'm sure you've thought it out because you, you already sound brilliant. Um, how can we really uh, almost like train the parent, you know, to be able to train the child and get them connected so that they can get their uh, kids interested in, in something like this? Yeah, so that was one of the first things that we tackled when we created the box because my team of engineers, most of whom are black, did not have parents that could help us with the homework. So that was the first thing. We wanted to make sure that this allowed for us to teach our students. So we don't actually need the parents to finish these activities. The next piece is exposure. We have over 30 upward bound programs that are clients of Lingo. We are used by over 4,000 students in America right now in six countries internationally because we don't require the parents to invest in Lingo. And this is why when I was talking to Roland, I'm like, hey, look, I, I need you. I need your help because I am the only black woman making educational product for middle school, high school, and university students right now that is sold in major retailers. And the majority of the people who we need to get this kit are, are upward bound students. There are students who are in Mississippi, they're in Alabama, they're in Georgia, who by getting this kit, maybe they could do something a little bit different. And I'm not talking about going to college. I'm talking about learning something where you can make money at home. Because guess what? All those big tech companies, the Googles, the Twitters, the Facebooks, they didn't require that their employees have to even have a computer science degree. They just have to know how to code. So I refuse to allow us to get left out. I refuse to allow us to be in an environment where we don't see us anymore when we're, education, when we're engaging in these activities. And all I require is for the institutions 
the organizations like the Bowie states, the Fayetteville states, who are working with us, the Southern universities who are working with us to push these kits into the hands of their students to work with us and to help. All right, then. Uh, again, uh, tell folks where they can get lingo. People are going to be, of course, uh, they're going to be looking for uh, Christmas gifts and birthday gifts. And so let them know. Well, you can get lingo on Target by typing in STEM Lingo Coding Kit, Walmart STEM Lingo Coding Kit as well, and also the same keywords on Amazon. If you'd like to get it directly from us, you can go to www.stemlingo.com in the bottom or hit me up on IG at Aisha Bo. All right, Aisha, we appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Roland. It's time to be smart. Roland Martin's doing this every day. Oh, no punches! Thank you, Roland Martin, for always giving voice to the issues. Look for Roland Martin in the whirlwind, to quote Marcus Garvey again. The video looks phenomenal, so I'm really excited to see it on my big screen. Support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. See, this difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. I got to defer to the brilliance of Dr. Carr and to the brilliance of the Black Star Network. I am rolling with rolling all the way. Honored to be on a show that you own, a black man owns the show. Folks, Black Star Network is here. I'm real uh, revolutionary right now. Like, wow. Rolling was amazing on that. Stay black. I love y'all. I can't commend you enough about this platform that you've created for us to be able to share who we are, what we're doing in the world, and the impact that we're having. Let's be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You can't be black on media and be scared. You dig?